I'm Alan Pan, and I'm an animal abuser. Is what a lot of people would want me to say. Because in my last video, I caught and released a wild snake. So now I have to prove that I'm a snake lover, not a snake abuser. I actually feel bad for snakes. They lost their legs, and nobody is even trying to find them. Nobody except for me. Snake lover, Alan Pan. So I called the LA Zoo to ask one of their snake experts where I could find the missing legs. But when they got back to me, they said it would cost over $2,000 to speak to him on camera. So I found a pet store that does reptile birthday parties for 200 bucks, and I told them it was my birthday. It's not my birthday. Where are her legs? Okay. They are vestigial legs. What? They can no longer be used to like actually walk with or anything. They didn't lose their legs, they're right here. Yeah. I guess. It turns out that snakes do have legs when they're embryos, but their DNA is all fucked up. So the genes that are supposed to grow two legs uh, grow two penises instead. <laughs> they can't walk on those. When any other animal has deformed legs, humanity comes together to spit in God's face and we build that animal awesome new cyborg legs. But nobody loves snakes enough to build them robot legs. Nobody except for me, snake lover Alan Pan. These are called three-toed skinks. They are lizards with four tiny stupid little legs and they might be the closest thing I could find to an actual snake with legs. And this is a fish abandoned by God. Sea robins have a bunch of terrible spidered looking legs, but honestly, this looks like a much more stable configuration. This is how many legs snakes should have. Oh, oh, oh yes! Yes! <laughs> this is the worst way you could have done this. Uh, yeah, this doesn't really feel right, does it? I'm gonna get in so much trouble for this. I cannot strap this to a real snake. <laughs> I was wrong. Snakes should not have more than four legs. But all these other animal legs have multiple iterations, so mine will too. Snake Legs 2.0 is going to need more support in the middle for the floppy snake body, and instead of pressure cuffs, I need a design that a snake can somehow choose to put on or take off. So after referencing three-toed skinks and earthworm Jim, I had a model ready to print and assemble. And while I'm building these legs, I want to thank Skillshare for having the cojones to sponsor this video. If there's a skill that you've always wanted to learn but never made the time for, then Skillshare is a great place to start. I hate to admit this being a full-time YouTube thumbnail designer, but I uh, never really learned how to use Photoshop. And Skillshare just happens to let you find classes that match your goals and interests, like an intro to Photoshop class. Skillshare is a great resource for entrepreneurs and freelancers or anyone looking to level up their side hustle skills. There's no ads to distract you while you're exploring new skills. There's new premium classes every single week. And the first 1,000 people to use this link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Just think, in the next month, you could learn uh, photography or illustration or business or all of them. Do you know how many of these courses you could take for free in a whole month? I don't know, but it's a really easy way to find out. Be one of the first 1,000 people to use this link and try Skillshare today. Oh, good shake, good shaky, snakey. She is beautiful. Each of these robot legs has two servos. They're connected to this servo controller board that can be activated wirelessly and programmed with this laptop. The body is just a tube, right? So like the snake can get in whenever it wants and leave whenever it wants. Totally voluntary. The legs are perfect. The only problem is I don't know how snakes are supposed to walk. Oh! Uh, I think what I actually need is to just have a live reptile in front of me so that I can watch how it walks and use those movements as a reference while I program these legs. So I found an animal rental agency that would let me book a professional lizard photo shoot. But then I found out it would cost $350. So instead, I found a pet store with a reptile section and told them I was shopping for lizards. I'm not shopping for lizards. That's interesting. They don't really walk like mammals do. They kind of have this like sideways, like alternating kind of a thing. <laughs> with this visual data, I was able to reconstruct how a snake might walk if it still had legs. Yes, yes. Yes, it looks just like a big lizard. The legs are ready now to give to a real snake. Prosthetic for a snake, you 
Exactly, exactly. I love I it. I know. Only someone who really loves snakes would do this, right? Yeah. So I found a professional snake breeder on Instagram who goes by Granddaddy Herpes. Sorry, Granddaddy Herps. He's either gonna be a creep or he's gonna be like the friendliest old man in the world, like a, like a nice grandpa. There's no in between. I'm hoping for the best, but this might go really poorly. Um, you're supposed to turn left there. Fuck. It turns out Granddaddy Herps, aka Anthony, is a totally normal guy. <laughs> Dude. Yo. How many snakes do you have here? So this one alone holds about 40. Who just happens to have snakes having sex in his garage? Um, I do have a breeding pair in here. Um, oh, they're getting busy in there, huh? Oh yeah, yeah, they're actually locked up right now. <laughs> you got snakes in the corner, you've got yeah. snakes at every inch of this place. <laughs> All of these snakes here, you breed here so that yes. other people aren't taking them out of their exactly. natural environment. They're yeah. like long like snakes are. Yeah. <laughs> Anthony has 11 years of snake experience. So he's going to make sure that I don't hurt the snakes and that the snakes don't hurt me. Is it normal for her to choke my neck? <laughs> yeah. Would this snake try to bite you if you Absolutely. reach for it? Oh. If I get close enough, it will bite me. The way to diffuse it is you don't go face first or else you're gonna get bit. You uh -huh. get behind them. Around. Oh. Just like that. <laughs> Yeah, see, and that just comes with the experience. According to Anthony, an angry snake will form an S shape with their bodies, but a comfortable snake relaxes like a noodle. That means that only happy snakes will be able to use the legs. This will be our first yep. candidate for yep. pilot. Yep. They're actually very cute. Do we stick our head first or, yes. or ass first? No, we'll, we'll go head first. Hey baby. You got this. Hey baby. This. You want to get your legs back? No, no. <laughs> She's like, Papa, don't make me go in there. <laughs> this was the moment of truth. Did snakes really want their legs back? Or am I actually just a snake abuser? My reputation as snake lover Alan Pan was in the balance. She's doing it. She's doing it. <laughs> no. Oh. Yeah, don't worry, snake. I got all night. Isn't that right, Audrey? What does this mean? Is that yes? Okay, yeah, we can be here all night. That's right, baby. This is a one-way ticket to Leg Town, just for you. She changed her mind. So, she did seem to like half of the tube. Something was wrong. Why couldn't this snake make it more than halfway through the tube? When she first gets in there, she doesn't seem to want to. I do wonder if that has anything to do with the, the servos being on, because they do jitter a little bit. Because they're very sensitive oh, right. to, uh, to like vibrations, right? This will be off now. My fate was now entirely in this snake's hands. That's backwards. You're going in backwards. We'll give it one last go. Yeah. Oh, she's zooming now. This is actually incredible. Like, the fact that she's getting more comfortable with the legs. Oh, yes, 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 yes. She totally wants her legs back. Tongue's flicking, good sign. And then we just start the walk. Look at that. I cannot believe this is working. Oh my god. You did it, man. This snake is like totally comfortable with these legs. Hey. Hey, you like you like having these legs? You like having your legs back? I finally had proof that I really do love snakes. She's going with it. That is crazy. The snakes want their legs back. Oh, bonk. So what do you think? Do you think this snake enjoys having legs? No, I think she for sure does. That's it was one. totally riding those legs. It like was actually comfortable with the legs. It, it was even looking side to side. Yeah. <laughs> but are these prosthetics good enough to let this deformed creature live a normal life? And now you can walk your snake, just like God never wanted you to. Like, I, I cannot get over the image of the snake crawling into its robotic it's exoskeleton, body. yeah. <laughs> And then we just take our snake out for a walk. You ever taken a snake out for a walk before? I have. Look, <laughs> she's like totally, totally accepting this. Here we can even get her to turn a little to the left here. There you go. There you go. And then we'll let it park and then you can go ahead and exit the ride. I cannot believe that this worked. Hey, you like, you like my legs? I like your legs better. 150 million years of evolutionary mistakes reversed in a single day. And I've evolved past just being a simple snake lover. I am God. I think the snake's going into my butt.